Hey everyone, Jared Gaspi, your local real estate superhero here again. Happy Taco Tuesdays, and we are just going to jump right into it. Right now we're doing our five things that we're all grateful for. I start my mornings off every morning trying to just think of things that I really appreciate, things that make me grateful, and that kind of gets me in a really good headspace. So I'm always trying to take five minutes to share that stuff with you guys. Figure, you know, I get really cool uh, ideas from sometimes, and I get really cool stories sometimes from you guys whenever I end up asking some questions at the end. And so, I don't know, I'm excited to do things like this. I'm a little sleepy. I've only had like a little bit of coffee, so I need more coffee is the moral of this story. But we're going to jump right into this. So first one that I have, I put down, had an old run-in ask me to sell their home. Um, I put run-in specifically because this wasn't someone whose information I got. Um, and when I say that, I mean it was... Someone I ran into through real estate situations who was not my client and there is no real reason or ability for me to be able to reach back out outside of maybe sending like a letter and even that would have been kind of out of place, um, at least in my opinion, which apparently my opinion is wrong. Uh, there is, uh, that's not rare, but it was wrong here because she reached out to me yesterday and said, you know, hey, I need help selling my home. And I was apparently the first person that she thought of in order to do that. So that was really cool. I didn't see that coming. And it does uh, kind of get into one of my next points, but it makes me really happy. And so uh, that's number one. Number two, I put caught up to My Hero Academia. I mentioned before that I started reading the manga and I was very much behind, but I would read it every morning. I would take some time to read it throughout the day, and I've caught up. And uh, can't I just say <laughs> that the manga for My Hero Academia is getting really freaking intense. It's why I wanted to read it, is because it was just so crazy right now that I could not exist on YouTube and even care about My Hero Academia without spoilers showing up. And so I would rather experience it for myself and then be able to watch those videos rather than all of them just berate me with spoilers and then I know what happens anyways because that's what was starting to happen. So I caught up now, it's really awesome and I'm really excited for the next chapter to come out. So that's number two. Number three, I put our pets can feel our emotions. This is something I actually asked my wife yesterday because she was having kind of a rough day. Um, and so I asked my wife periodically what some things that she's grateful for are because sometimes I'll kind of steal those if they're relevant to me. And this one kind of is, but it's something that I thought about because of her situation. And it's just the fact that our, our pets really can kind of sense when we're not feeling okay. One of our cats will come anytime that they hear her crying. Um, my dog will try to follow me around, especially whenever he can kind of feel that I'm stressed out. You know, there's, there's these senses of, you know, them being able to read our emotions, which I think is really, really cool that, you know, I don't know. It's small and it's subtle. It just shows that they actually do have like an emotional connection with us. And so I love our babies. They are definitely ours. And so that just kind of makes me really happy. But number four, I put um, try new taco places. That's going to get into a question here. Where do you think I should get tacos? Uh, we have a taco place that we really like, but we go there every week. And so I was asking my wife yesterday, like, hey, are you okay? if we tried for taco place and she said sure I don't care and so <laughs> not everyone loves taco Tuesday as much as I do but um so we're gonna try to find somewhere different today for taco Tuesday so it's gonna be kind of cool to try to see what we might try to get and so if you have ideas on taco places let me know um that's it I mean I'm excited to try it but we'll see what I try number five I put don't erase replace uh that's a line that was given to me from an old mentor from, you know, about a year and a half ago, give or take, honestly. And it's kind of stuck with me. And the idea is, like, if you have a list of things that you need to do and God forbid stuff gets really hectic and you just get bogged down with a bunch of other things, whether they be more work, whether the work goes on longer than you expected, whether it be the fact that the world just keeps spinning and life gets in the way of your profession, you know, there's always going to be reasons to not finish something. And so the idea of don't erase replaces whenever you're looking at your schedule and you say, I didn't have time to do this today, what do you do? You don't just erase it and say, well, I didn't have time to do it. You put it onto your next schedule. You put it onto the next day. You don't 
completely negate the fact that you needed to do something because you couldn't do it at the time. You push it to the next day or the next day and the next day until you get it done. And so there's beauty to that because it makes it to where you can get overwhelmed, but then you start planning around that. It, it forces your life to basically look at things like you will continue and you will persevere and you will complete the task at hand, even if life gets crazy. And 2020 has been crazy and we all know that. And so don't erase, replace was always just something that stuck with me because I do try to control my schedule as much as I can, but I also lose control of my schedule just like everyone else. But rather than let that say that I can't do something because I couldn't do it right this second, just means that I'm going to make sure that I do it later. And it's made it to where doing things like getting clients, because I had a day last week where I wasn't able to get the clients that I wanted, I picked up clients somewhere else because I still had down on my list of things that I wanted to accomplish, get my two clients for the day. And I didn't. So I got them later. And I don't think I would have been able to do that without the mindset that I was given whenever I heard this saying to begin with. So really like that saying, it held its own weight in water just the other day. And so I wanted to put it down for my gratitudes today. So that's gonna be, you know, my overarching kind of theme for the questions. I don't have my question actually thought out, but I do want it to be kind of based off of that. And it's basically just the fact that, you know, for you guys in particular, when sometime that you were ready to give up on something, and, you know, for whatever reason, you didn't, and it paid off. And so I know that that's probably something I've asked before, because I know I at least have one video where my question was like, when's the last time you persevered? But it's important to kind of think back to that kind of stuff. So like, when's the last time that it was easier to give up than it was to keep moving forward? But you kept moving forward because you knew that you should. And... Let me know down in the comments below. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, I would ask that you like and subscribe just because I know YouTube gets a weird kick out of that kind of stuff. But more importantly, actually comment. And, you know, if you're watching this on Facebook, definitely comment and send me messages on Messenger because I actually really love the, you know, feedback and back and forth and personal touch that kind of goes with Facebook as well. But let me know because I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say. So I will talk to you guys later and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye.